here at this exciting time for Shenandoah Athletics as we celebrate the opening of the James R. Wilkins Jr. Athletic and Events Center. For those of us who have been around for a long time, this is a, this is a special day. This building has been decades and the planning and the envisioning our students have needed it for five decades now. What we had before did not uh, lend itself to attract really high-end athletes to the university. Shingleton Gymnasium, it's a great little gym, but it's a little gym. Anyone who's been to Shingleton if it doesn't appreciate that this, something's wrong. If you're trying to recruit ball players, male or female, to come play in that and they're playing in gyms that are smaller than the high school gym, it's hard to get them in here. The academics portion of it, Shenandoah sells itself. Great university, outstanding academics, but they have that true Division III student athlete experience. You want something like this. This is certainly one of the most impressive facilities in the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. And we know it will be a tremendous recruiting tool that will help bring in high quality student athletes. It gives a great first impression for Shenandoah and certainly grabs the attention of the 60,000 cars that are tra traveling on Interstate 81 on a daily basis. The Shenandoah University Board of Trustees is proud to serve the university and support a facility that will be used by many Shenandoah students for years to come that enhances the student athlete experience and then impacts the university campus and the community as a whole. I felt from the beginning that it wasn't just for the university, but if we did this right, it would be a resource for Winchester and Frederick County as well as the entire region. And I certainly wanted to show my support, not just for the university itself, but for athletics here because they are so important. This building is deeply symbolic. It is symbolic of how far Shenandoah has come and our trajectory. We are reaching for the stars. We're not looking to be a Division I school. I love Division III athletics. I played myself in college and I like Division III because of the fact you get kids that want a good education, want to go to school, they want to play sports. They played soccer in high school or played lacrosse, ran cross country. They still want to continue, but they want to get an education. So we're not changing the rules. We're not lowering our GPA and SAT standards. We're just trying to give the opportunity for those kids to come here and participate and compete in the ODAC, which is one of the top Division III conferences in the country. Earlier today, we celebrated this occasion during our official ribbon cutting ceremony. And now we gather to celebrate the legacy of Dave and Kathy Dutton by naming a playing court in this wonderful facility in their memory. Here we are today at 2018. He's up there smiling. He, he probably would have said, why did it take so long? They created an amazing legacy here, and it's um, great to see this facility come to fruition. Today we're honoring, we're remembering Dave and Kathy Dutton and naming the court after them. It's, it's powerful, it's celebratory, and it's also deeply sad. Um, but their children are here with us, and this is really a symbol that Shenandoah doesn't forget its own, that we are a family, we are always a family and Dave and Kathy and their children will always be part of Shenandoah. To see their impacts and how it still rings true today, you know, 10, 15 years later, it's pretty awesome. Um, and with all the people that came back to celebrate, you know, it's just a reflection of all their hard work and, you know, everything they did while they were here. The impact they made in the short time they were here was amazing. The fact that Dave came in with his, let's take a Division three program and give it a Division one attitude and grow it up. And you could see how that was happening in the men's basketball games with the dancing with the sensations that Kathy coached. So you saw that with halftime shootouts to get students involved in the activities and community involvement as they went around and talked to the different civic organizations and got the entire community behind Shenandoah basketball and then put a good product on the court. So it became a social event to come to a basketball game and really help get this athletic program moving forward in the right direction. The right thing to do somehow, some way is recognize Dave Dutton for all of his vision and laying the foundation um, 25 years ago to get us 
where we are today. The Shenandoah University Board of Trustees is pleased to name the playing court in the James R. Wilkins Jr. Athletics and Events Center in memory of Dave and Kathy Dutton. I'd like to think that Dave and Kathy are looking down right now with joy and pride. Joy to see their four children together again on this campus, to see how they've grown, matured, and prospered. And pride to see this magnificent facility and see how this athletics program has grown from a seed, an idea planted 30 years ago. This truly is a Division I attitude and a Division III program.